Welcome friends, today we're gonna talk about a new RPG game called Spirit of Europe Origins and it's educational RPG game dedicated to history but with strong based combat and inspired by disciples true? Oh, we definitely have to know more about this game, so like, subscribe and let's find out! In days of old, the shores of Phoenicia were graced by the great beauty of a maiden princess. Her radiance shone second to none, mortal or divine. And so it was when Zeus, lord of the Olympus, gazed upon her in awe. The god then morphed into a handsome and tamed white bull, tricking her into riding him to the sea. He took her away to the island of Crete, where their offspring laid the foundations of a mighty and glorious civilization. But the princess was never whole again, and her desire to be reunited with her old self became manifest. And after eons of thought, she sent the spirit forth as a harbinger of her reign. I won't tell you the princess's name, but the harbinger's name was the Spirit of Europe. As a mystical spirit of Europe, we will travel through the history from ancient Greece to Renaissance, and all events in this game, character and everything is 100% historical accurate. And I arrived at my first location and I truly believe this is ancient Greece. In tutorial I have a small quest to find two books. One book is book about demons, a lot of them. And the demons are very scary in this game, just look at them. Ooh, and the other book is full of fighters. The warrior, shaman, archers, a plenty of them we have, even the witch. And this is the character we will be able to play with. So far I have only two fighters. But when you defeat a demon you get these soul shards. And with these soul shards you can summon some warriors to fight by your side. And you can use it right here, but actually I don't know how to use it so far. Maybe this is some kind of research tree? I will find it later. And it's time to find who I am and where I am. And we have a quest, the Materium. We need to find the host and possess it. And the only host I see is this cute little... Girl, but how? Oh, that's how. Okay, let's possess him. So we will be able to possess humans and play their role in the history. After having a little chat with this fellow, now I understand that this is Persephone's mother's temple, the goddess of harvest and of law. And one more thing, I can leave the host. And here is Belle's popularity and authority. Oh, she is pretty wealthy, a little bit popular, but don't have authority at all. Okay. Slave woman. And the chicken, can I possess a chicken? Your social standing is too low to interact with this person? Oh my god! And as a spirit I feel strong animally around this place and it's time to conduct an experiment. So date Ancient Greece, subject spirit, it's time to leave our host. And whoa, who is that? Do you see this dark spirit? Oh, and combat begin. And that how combat will look like in this game. Actually, it's pretty similar to Disciples. You have your army and I believe it will be few rows of your army. You can't move, just like in Disciples. 
you will attract and while fighting you fighters gain experience point and can upgrade themselves to better version of warriors or archers or gladiators maybe we can zoom in a little then we move a camera maybe we can rotate it but no i don't find how to do it and it's time to defeat the civil forces oh demon you will never survive me because i'm a spirit of europe i'm very powerful i possess a knowledge of greatest heroes ever lived on this earth and evil was defeated my spirit win and what do i gain banished demons okay i can read about them actually i gain experience and i gain soul shards i received two of them hmm that's not much two soul shards and i'm back to reality okay i can collect soul shards just flying around but what do i have to do what is my mission some areas like this one will be closed keep explore and interact until you complete true quest and what can i say there will be a lot of battles here because when you're in spirit form some people are corrupted possessed by demons and you have to chase them off and that's mean battle fight them so what can i say in conclusion the whole idea of this game is just fantastic you travel through different situation in history different events different location even different cultures and can live all this through the eyes of different characters amazing i really like that and friends i forget to tell you very interesting thing about this game this game is totally free you can download it on steam and play a full version right now link will be in the description by the way but there is one condition before playing this game you have to go through some kind of quiz or exam on history very interesting personally i love history a lot and i complete this quiz and get 9 out of 20. yeah i know i know it's not the best result but i want to do it free just from the start without google and everything and if you complete this exam also please let me know your score in the comment section and leave your opinion about this game anyway friends was glad to see you thank you for watching until the next video